Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Heads Genetics Challenge! Here in our laboratory, where you never know where our tales of love may take us. And today we are back up in the cloudy skies with our alicorn, Wild Crystal, who, as you guys know by now, has very, very interesting rainbow-esque powers to leave to all of his offspring. And holy cow, does he ever have a lot of offspring, because if there's anything that's fun to breed in our challenges, it's definitely this here alicorn, who I sometimes refer to as unicorn. But come on, guys. I mean, he can put those glorious rainbow wings aside from time to time. But today, he actually used those wings to soar in the sky, searching out the new love of his life, as he is oft to do, since he has so many amazing using children with those uh, changing coat powers that he's able to give to them. And lo and behold, instead of finding love down on the ground, he found love sky high with a dragon with another flying creature. I love the idea that our sassy, full of himself, wild crystal was just roaming through the clouds, looking about, trying to find someone new to toss Cupid's arrow to. And uh, while he had his head down, which is a little dangerous because he's got a freaking like unicorn spike right there, he ended up nearly crashing into Flamio, who it turns out is a female. And Flamio here is the first flying creature that our wonderful wild crystal alicorn has ever run into. And Flamio was circling around a volcano where she had been basking, and lo and behold her surprise when it looks like a rainbow literally comes to life before her. She was quite intrigued, rainbows are quite pretty, dragons love to collect treasure, and Wild Crystal's heart was, as usual, immediately just jumped out of his chest and uh, straight over to Flamio, where she was relaxing because it's not ever been a time in his life where he's met another flying creature, especially one so fierce and warm. So no doubt the love match between them is a very easy thing, and Flamio will now begin to have a series of little eggs, and then once those eggs hatch, we are going to see what traits they inherit from this pair of parents this time because we're kind of like maxing it out on all of the amazing traits now thanks so much to kalino i'll try to make sure i leave another link to her stuff down in the video description below because these dragon custom content pieces are available now my friends you too can have dragons right now in your game you can add them into sims 4 just in time for university which is totally a magic dragon themed pack of course yeah, cock off. <laughs> but yes, so you guys can get the dragon custom content now too. But there's going to be so much for the children to possibly inherit. We're going to be dealing with the legs and scales, which count as one body piece together. We're going to be dealing with the dragon head. We're going to be dealing with the tail. We're going to be dealing with the wings. And that's just the dragon. And the children could possibly inherit hooves, a feathered set of wings, rainbow coloring, and a unicorn horn and mane from Wild Crystal. So this is about as chaotic of a genetic mix-up that you could get, and of course it would only happen here in our laboratory. But let's go ahead and get started. I have no idea what will hatch out of the eggs that we shall we shall lay between this match, but perhaps it will be something absolutely stunning. So, all right, Flamio, I'll let you go ahead and lead. And keep in mind, guys, because we are breeding with Wild Crystal, we will be changing the color of the little creatures. I don't even know what you call an alicorn slash unicorn slash dragon thing. I kind of need some name suggestions for that. That sounds like an amazing fantasy experiment. Uh, but we will be changing their coloration with the magic that Wild Crystal carries down from the rainbows of the sky uh, once they become like little itty bitty creatures when they're born, basically. <laughs> I have no idea what to call these guys for once. All right, Flamio, let's go ahead and have the very first birth. <gasps> what? Brindle patterning? 
<laughs> All right, so Flamium's first child is actually a brindled pattern daughter who we are gonna be naming Ivy from Axobeck, who asked for the name Ivy named after your cat. Well, I have no idea what you would call this creature, Axobeck, but thank you so much for enjoying zoo crafting and enjoying our adventures. And I'm really hoping that your cat will be proud to be a dragon, unicorn, alicorn thing. All right, so Ivy here is going to be friendly, vocal, and a sleuth, which sounds like the perfect kind of little dragon unicorn creature to fly around the volcano that she has just hatched out of the egg at. It's gonna be very fun to change her coloration and grow her up and see what the heck she even looks like. Oh, look at that puppy! Oh, I feel like we're dealing with some Flareons or like little Growliths. This is so cute. All right, Flamio, Wild Crystal, the second egg hatches <gasps> with these stunning purple eyes. Oh my gosh. And again, the coloration that I did not expect, but this is going to be Brianna. So welcome little Brianna. Welcome to the flock. You are an energetic sleuth who is loyal. This is interesting. We have a lot of like very, very curious little ones so far. All right. And the next egg hatches into Another one with those stunning purple eyes. That is so cool. And a little brown creature. This is not turning out the way I thought with Flamio and Wild Crystal, but that's okay. This one's going to be Gumball, a name suggestion from Kane. Bumble? No, Gumball. There we go. All right. And you can't give milk, little one. I mean, maybe you can. You're. I don't even know what to call you, so I'm not going to question whatever your crossbreedness can do but you're gonna be friendly, a couch potato, and jumpy. So we have some sleuthful, curious sisters, and then we have a little bit of a cautious one. I mean, he even looks like he's glancing over his shoulder, wondering what's going to burst out of his back as soon as he becomes an adult. Will it be feathered wings? Will it be leathery wings? Who knows? What color will he be? He doesn't even know that. There's a lot of unknowns in these little guys' lives. All right, let's see. Next up, we're going to have another egg start wiggling and hatching oh okay wild crystal you do throw these kinds uh every now and then and this is actually going to be sophia there we go sophia i'm so glad you enjoy the cute puppy creatures that we end up having and i hope you are very excited to be a creature yourself oh and then as usual guys if you don't know how the names are popping up you just leave a comment in the video and then i toss the video into a random comment generator and it fairly picks from all of the comments left in the video description all right and then let's go ahead and add another one <gasps> so cute! A fluffy unicorn that we- or a fluffy like dragon unicorn would be adorable. <gasps> yes! We finally have one with rainbows, friends! Very exciting! And may we welcome little Labrador Puppy 9. Uh, I think I'm gonna name you Labradoria. There we go. Labrador Puppy 9, I'm so enchanted that you, you actually like the magical eyes that our last mix had, and now you have magical eyes and magical literally everything else. <laughs> so I'm very happy that we were able to add you on in, and you are going to be an adventurous, independent, smart little one, straight out of the egg, and you've already got a lot of potential. All right, and then the last egg wiggles, the last egg waggles. This looks like a little flash dog. I love him. And it hatches into another calm one. Like we got all really calm, normal colors. Apparently, like we're gonna have to, well, I say that now, that's probably famous last words, but we're gonna have to see what these guys end up turning into. But this little one is going to be Lizzie. Another name suggestion from one of you guys. Lizzie, you can't give milk. Uh, you can't give wool, still can't give wool. Okay, she got a little annoyed with me and now she's aggressive because I didn't let her be a cow or sheep. Uh, she's also stubborn and vocal, so... All right. The little ones have hatched! This is what they look like so far, but before they grow up and before we figure out if they inherit wings or horns or what the heck they're gonna look like, we're gonna change their color. Since that is the gift that Wild Crystal is able to grant to all of his children. We will change the colors once for Ivy, twice for Brianna, three times for Gumball, four times for Sophia, five times for Labradoria, and six times for Lizzie to kind of go in the pattern of the rainbow. All right, so let's go ahead, Ivy. We're gonna change all of your coat colors. 
Once, 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 once. <gasps> That's more like it. Give me some of these chaos colors. <laughs> this is what I would expect. I love the idea that maybe they hatch and they look really plain like bird chicks do so that they can blend in with the surroundings. And now that they're becoming older and right before they like mature into adults, they start developing their adult colors and plumage so that they can try to look like attractive little dragon unicorn things. Oh, I love that idea. Good job, Ivy. You're definitely standing out more now. All right, Brianna, your turn. We're gonna change your coat colors twice. One, two, one, two. <gasps> she did it as well, huzzah! Just imagine, they're really starting to develop those colors so that when they become adults, they too can catch the eyes of any wandering dragons, unicorns, or who knows what's at this rate. All right, Gumball, you can do it, little guy. Oh my gosh, he's got so many patterns. <gasps> One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Gumball, you are so shy. <laughs> he looks like he just barely laid down in a little patch of daisies or something, or like petunias. Oh, okay, Gumball. You know what? I'm sure you're gonna be amazing. You are amazing. All right, Sophia. One, two, three, four. 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 Sophia! Somebody was rolling around in some of the fire volcano stuff that was around your house. She's ready to really claim a place with her mother's volcano, if you ask me. All right, and Labradoria, we're going to go ahead and change your colors. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Labradoria, I think you are determined to be a cloud rainbow puppy thing. Um, a little storm cloud. I actually kind of like it when they turn out like this because it does look like a little storm cloud and that makes it a lot of fun. All right, and then we've got Lizzie. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Lizzie, you're absolutely precious, but you definitely weren't going for the bright colors. But all right, guys, so those are the colorations that we ended up getting from the puppies. Let's go ahead, grow them up, see what they're going to inherit. This is going to take me a lot of rolls of my dice to figure out, like, what side of things they inherit, but I'm going to do my best. All right, so let's go ahead. Ivy, she's going to grow up. Oh my gracious, she just, she stole the tail. <laughs> she literally grew up with a dragon tail already. Liz Ivy. All right, well, she also has inherited her mother's head, uh, meaning she has a dragon. She's a dragon, friends. She is going to have her mother's markings. There we go. And I guess I'm just gonna have to try to make her look the most dragony that I can with what we've got to work with. All right, so she inherited that, and then she inherited her mother's wings as well. So we're gonna come on down, and maybe she wants the black wings since she it looks like she inherited her mother's tail already. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. Whoa, instantly she like transforms herself into a lizard. Look at that, that is so much fun. And she actually inherited her mother's paws too. So she does have the full, oh, she's a full dragon. She just went straight for it. No hesitation. She knew what she wanted to be when she grew up, a dragon. There you go, Lizzie. Oh my gosh, she looks nothing like Flamio. I thought we'd have like a lot more fire dragons, but that is clearly not the case. All right, time for little Brianna. What is she going to grow up into? And the answer, my friends, let's go ahead. Ate her up. <gasps> Look at her. And the answer is actually another dragon. So we are, let's get some different horn shapes in here. That should be fun. <gasps> That's so cool. So we actually do have another dragon right over here. Uh, let me find the wings. She inherited the head and the wings from her mother, which is pretty darn cool. Oh, look at that! I love how easy it is to just, like, transform her into a dragon. And then she actually inherited the paws from her mom as well. So she, too, turned into a full dragon. She didn't get the tail, 
Uh, so sh that's the only difference, but man, this is really fun. That was so easy to just transform her into a dragon and she has the purple eyes. So she's going along with her own purple eyes too. What? All right, Gumball, it's your turn. Are you gonna be like your sisters or are you going to stand out and be a little bit different? All right, let's age him up. And then Gumball has actually inherited. He too has inherited horns. <laughs> Everybody is just taking after their mom. Maybe it's because they hatched out of uh, they hatched out of eggs, in my opinion. Uh, all right, so we've got. And he also has inherited the wings. Oh, Gumball, look at you! But the thing that he has inherited from his dad is actually the hooves. So Gumball is actually going to be a hoofed dragon, which is much cooler looking than I originally expected it to be. Now that we're actually working with that. That's so cool, Gumball. And he has a fluffy tail. He is a dragon with a fluffy tail. That is somewhat hilarious. All right, and then we have Sophia, who definitely looks like she is ready to become a volcano dragon. She even snagged the tail, uh, which is quite amusing. But shockingly enough, Sophia is one of the first ones to not inherit the dragon features. Instead, she is actually going to have the unicorn horn and mane, which I think is pretty awesome. So Sophia did not inherit. Let's see if we can align up a good pick for it. Yeah, she actually didn't inherit the dragon features, but we'll go ahead and give her the unicorn horn like so, the little mane, and she inherited her father's wings. So Sophia, your wings are actually going to be fluffy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can find like a really good pair. Well, maybe the brown ones to go with her. I mean, I guess that works and I guess we can change. Oh, the tail. Holy cow. Look at that. Since we put that on, somehow her tail got feathers on it. That is so cool. What? All right, let me roll again to see. And she also is going to inherit the hooves. So Sophia actually took after her dad. However, she has her mom's volcanic heart and a little bit of her mom's tail, though it's much more feathery. Didn't expect that. That was a fun mix. All right, Labradoria, let's go ahead and see what you're gonna turn into. And the answer, my friends, is a unicorn. Labradoria as well has inherited the unicorn traits, which really suits her like a very well, actually. That's quite beautiful. She looks like a rain cloud unicorn. Uh, ironically though, she inherited some of her mother's features because she does have the claws. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. <laughs> She's the kind of unicorn where you, you might not want to mess with her for sure. All right, and then finally we have little Lizzie. Lizzie has actually grown up to be a unicorn as well. So, well, I, I should say alicorn. It frustrates so many of you guys when I when I don't get it quite right. So she has grown up to be an alicorn. I'm trying to figure out what would be a good match for her. Eh, that looks pretty cool. And then maybe we'll give her some colorful wings because she inherited the wings too. It's always so interesting to see like how those picks work out. And then she has also inherited the hooves. So she really just straight up became a alicorn, <laughs> even though her mother is a dragon. But all right guys, there you have it. I'm actually quite intrigued by the variety of little dragonettes and little alicorns that we ended up getting. And I think it was a, a successful match between Flamio and Wild Crystal. We'll have to see where our random mixes take us next time. I think that Brianna is my favorite because she just looks like such a cool purple dragon. Uh, and if you guys would like to join us, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.